a place in the quarterfinals of the Adobe Women's FA Cup is at stake this afternoon as London City Lionesses host Liverpool here at Princess Park. It's been a turbulent week for the Lionesses, a bizarre Wednesday night. Firstly, he saw the Continental Cup tie against Arsenal called off, and then the sacking of head coach Carolina Morache and her assistant Nicola Williams. It means goalkeeping coach Darren Smith takes charge of things this afternoon. Though fans have been speculating Melissa Phillips could be reunited with the club where she spent two successful seasons at after she was recently let go by Brighton. Liverpool come here more settled under Matt Beard. He's been in charge since 2021 and led the Reds back to the top flight. They are on a run of three games without a win, though. In fact, their last victory was over Bristol City in the last round. To the team news, and we'll look at London City Lionesses first. Three changes made by the interim boss, Darren Smith. He brings in Paige Culver, Constance Schofield and Lucy Fitzgerald. Campbell, Neville and Wilde all drop out from their last game, which was a championship game against Blackburn Rovers. Danielle Carter and Emma McCandy have both lifted the FA Cup in the past with Arsenal. As for Liverpool, Matt Beard makes four changes from the side that drew 1-1 with Tottenham in the WSL last week. Parry, Clark, Herberger, who scored off the bench last week, and Lawley all come into the 11. Captain Gemma Bonner, who scored the winner against Bristol City, is out of the squad. There may be a division between these two clubs, but the investment into London City and the recent takeover means on paper, the squads look evenly matched. The Lionesses group full of women's Super League quality. It means that this should be a competitive cup tie. This is what the Adobe Women's FA Cup is all about. Teams from different divisions facing off. Liverpool boss Matt Beard called this competition the greatest in the world. He certainly has his eyes on the prize, but can they get through this test this afternoon? the players and the official take the knee against all forms of discrimination and we are underway in this Adobe Women's FA Cup tie a place in the last eight at stake London City Lionesses and Liverpool both hoping to join Leicester and Tottenham who are already in the draw after advancing through yesterday. This is the sixth ever meeting between these two clubs. London have only won one of the previous five. Liverpool coming out on top twice. Their last meeting was in the Championship in March 2022. That was a 1-1 draw. Here's Parry. Works the ball inside to Lawley, who gets an early cross in. And the strike off target from Sophie Roman Haug. It was worked well, though, by Liverpool. It was a good delivery into the box by Melissa Lawley. Roman Howe just couldn't keep her shot down. She certainly made an impact since her arrival from Roma in September. 
Sophie Roman Howe, the Norwegian international, has scored four goals in her 13 appearances for the Reds so far. And it's Liverpool that are seeing all of the ball in the early stages. Sacking of Marache was a surprise because of the timing more than anything, but expectations are high with the Lionesses, and it's not been a great season for them so far, sitting in 10th position in the championship table. Their squad should really be doing better. Opens up for a shot that is hit off target as Jenna Clark took the efforts on. The Lionesses have won just three of their 15 matches in the championship. They conceded 25 goals, they've only scored 14. And that is why the change of manager has been made. The return of Melissa Phillips is just a rumour at the moment, but it wouldn't be a huge shot to see her return to the club. Lawley gives it to Parry. Good work by Clark. An opportunity for the Lionesses to try and create something, but Boya Lorca just run out of space. Liverpool had a bit of a titanic battle with Bristol City in the last round, but got through eventually, 1-0. Decent delivery. And he's defended well by Culver. Goes out for a Liverpool corner. First opportunity for the Reds to test London from a set piece. Lawley in position for the short one. Herbinger instead sends it into the area and it's flicked on and was flicked goalwards by Fisk and Maloney made a good save. She was sharply down to her right to stop the ball as it was sent goalwards by Fisk. This is a really good start from Liverpool, moving the ball well. Ball down out of the sky well, and Matthews with the cross, and it's put in. And Liverpool's bright start has ended with a goal. Sophie Roman Haug getting the vital touch. And Liverpool are in front. It's no less than they deserve. It was well watched by Roman Haug as the ball went over the head of a defender and she directed it goalwards past the goalkeeper and the Reds in front. Matt Beard spoke 
beforehand about this being a potential banana skin. Well, that will ease his fears. An early goal. And London Lionesses are yet to really get into this game. And they already find themselves a goal down. Carter just ran out of space. Oh, he, he wears the captain's armband for Liverpool this afternoon. Rachel Laws, the goalkeeper who's in her second spell with the club. Won the Women's Super League in her first spell. That was back in 2013. Good work down the left-hand side. McCandy clears away the cross. Nagano. Jenna Clark being made to work to get the ball under control but she does in the end here's Clark again Herbinger now Parry oh, Matt Baird shouting at Parry that she should have crossed the ball into the box instead tried to find the runner and that was the wrong option number of other Adobe Women's FA Cup ties taking place today. Many of them available for you to watch here on the FA Player. Manchester City have taken the lead in that big game against Arsenal. They're into the uh, final few minutes of that match. That was an earlier kickoff. Brighton 1-0 up against Wolves as well. Here, Sophie Roman House goal on six minutes, giving Liverpool the lead. And they're looking for more. Here is Parry, was aimed into Roman Haug, who touched it goalwards. Couldn't get any power on the effort to trouble Maloney. Comfortably dealt with at the back and Clark is able to send it down the line, but it's a mishit pass. Erbinger finds Lawley. Lawley's cross. Headed away. Only as far as Nagano. Fisk. Grace Fisk skips past the challenge. Matthews. Clark with some space to take the ball into. Liverpool's youngest ever player, Lucy Parry, in possession to Nagano. Roman Howe flicks it on. 
Only half play it. Here's Lawley. It's over the head of the defender. And the effort just wide from Jasmine Matthews. Lawley's cross. Matthews running onto it. Who could only find the side netting. Again, it's good from Liverpool, though, who are being patient with their build-up play, but when the delivery is made into the box, the quality has been good so far. They're causing London Lionesses all sorts of problems, and they're playing themselves into trouble here. It's Lawley forces the save from Maloney. Mistake by the Lionesses. Parry with the ball in and Lawley's effort. Forcing Maloney into action. And they need to uh, find a way to have a spell of possession, the London City Lionesses. I've hardly seen any of the ball as Rohan finds McCandy. And the offside flag is up against Boya Lorca. A big step up this for the London City Lionesses from previous rounds. They beat Villa Ricky Town 6 0 in round three and Moneyfields 4 0 in the fourth round to advance to this stage. Fisk with the ball forward. Matthews wasn't able to bring it under her control. Schofield. This is a bit better from the Lionesses. On back well though by Liverpool and Laws who hasn't had a save to make yet. With the ball at her feet. Fisk, who uh, moved to Liverpool from West Ham in the summer, doing well as the ball is played down that left channel. Maloney off her line quickly. Didn't play in the victory over Moneyfields, Grace Maloney in the fourth round. The Republic of Ireland International. Nagano. Oh, he stops the ball from going out. Clock. Long, it was onto the head of Culver. Matthews with the throw. Farhi. Now to the Scotland international, Jenna Clark. Parry. Square ball did make its way to its target, Holland. Clark again. And the pitch is pretty heavy. Mentioned earlier, the clash here against Arsenal in the League Cup was called off on Wednesday night because of a waterlogged pitch.
Liverpool managing to pass the ball around okay on the surface so far though. Little John's ball forwards. Fisk aims it away for Liverpool. Controlled by Carter. Boy Lorca. She's a skillful player and she's looking to use her armory of tricks. Some leeway and it was well dealt with by Clark. Remember, Candy will take the throw. And that was miscontrolled by Carter. The clearance is brought down by Little John. Cross same in from deep by Fitzgerald. is too close to Laws, who bowls it out quickly. And Liverpool will look to break forward as Holland plays it down the left-hand side. Now Matthews and, well, the touch from Sophie Roman Haug nearly crept into the bottom corner. Matthews with the low cross into the box and Roman Haug, oh, was closer than I first thought. Just wide. Another example of the quality of the delivery into the box from Liverpool so far in this match. Candy's throw. Given straight to Need Far Heat. Bisk, who was brought to the club by Matt Beard, actually played for Matt Beard at West Ham when he was there. to kick it long, straight onto the head of Farhi. And Holland was bundled over, so it's a free kick that Liverpool tried to take quickly, but the referee said it wasn't in the right position. Barhi, who has experienced great success in this competition, four times winner with Arsenal. Herbinger's cross and running in at the back post was Matthews and took a deflection. It will be a corner. Travelling Liverpool supporters enjoying what they're witnessing so far. The corner is taken short. Rising high was Matthews. She wasn't able to direct it on target. Carter plays it forward, trying to uh, find Nicole Douglas, who has hardly had a touch in the opening 20 minutes.
Lucy Parry, who's been getting rave reviews recently. Putting pressure on the regular fullback, Koya Vista, with her performances. Very good slide tackle, and again from Fahi. Corvett. Maloney kicks it forward. It's controlled by Nagano. It's a loose touch by Holland, and here is Douglas. Now Carter, Douglas trying to get the shot away, just couldn't quite get it out of her feet. Still there might be something on here for London City Lionesses. Brougham. That was the best opening of the match so far for London City. Nicole Douglas just wasn't able to get her shot away in. It was an opportunity. She tried to move it. I think she felt if she had have just hit the goal, uh, the ball goalwards, it would have been blocked. But chances have been at such a premium. So far for London City Lionesses, you can understand the frustration from the bench. Irving gets cross, headed away by Lois Joel. Well swept up by Liverpool defensively. Clark, Herbinger, Parry. Ball has made its way through to Lawley. And Roman Haug, straight at Maloney. And it was actually Kerry Holland running onto it. My apologies, but ball was aimed in and Holland running onto it. Here's Parry. Well, it just feels like Liverpool are in total control of this, despite it being just 1-0. And it really feels like it will only be a matter of time before they double the lead Maloney being told to hurry things up good header by Farhi clicked on by Hervinger swept up by McCandy The experienced Emma McCandy, who uh, joined the Lionesses from Reading in the summer. He's a fully fledged Scotland international. Kick given to McCandy. Carter coming short. Rohan was closed down. This is an opportunity for Herbinger. For a moment, it looks as if she was going to play in the runner, but 
It just opened up for Marie Herbinger. A shot not too far wide. Feeling confident at the moment in front of goal, the Austrian international. Six goal contributions this season. Including that late equaliser last weekend in the 1-1 Women's Super League draw against Tottenham. Vital goal for the Reds. Huge competition for places in the Liverpool squad for the forward roles. Herbinger has made an impact when she's started games and when she's come off the bench. Carter does well to turn, but the ball forward straight to far heat. Little John loses possession. She wanted a free kick. Nothing coming and Maloney forced into action. Maloney with the ball at her feet. Liverpool throw. Little John got dispossessed and just opened up for Liverpool and wasn't a bad effort from range. Maloney did well, made sure she was alert to make the save. Roman Haug is Herbinger. Parry inside to Herbinger. Clark closed down quickly by Douglas, but it's a Liverpool throw. Parry dispossessed, but the loose ball is recycled by Liverpool through Herbinger. Nagano was fouled. There's Darren Smith. Joined the club as goalkeeper coach. Now finds himself in the uh, interim head coach's role. For how long? Nobody knows at the moment. He's just been told to take charge of this game, but has a rearranged League Cup quarter final against Arsenal on the horizon as the one ball is nearly controlled by Roman Haug. Maloney was off her line to sweep up. Schofield. Sun comes out here at Prince's Park. At the moment, it's shining on Liverpool, who look comfortable with their 1 0 lead. Nagano. Clark. Fisk, Liverpool just being allowed to play the ball between the back three. Fisk, Matthews with her back to goal, Nagano. 
well held up by Roman Haug. Woolley chases after the loose ball. Maloney with the short pass towards the edge of her box. And that was well defended by London City. Went drawn out by Liverpool. Nagano. Here's Matthews. Wasn't quite on the same page as Nagano Fuka. The Japan International who moved to Liverpool in January 2023 from North Carolina. Fahey. Clark. Parry. Miscontrolled it. in ball that Roman Haug put pressure on in the end she wins the corner the ball to nothing that wasn't dealt with by Paige Culver presents Liverpool with an opportunity Irvinger will take the corner. It's a dangerous one that is headed against the crossbar by Clark. And then it fell back to her. And her shot is deflected wide. Beautifully floated corner into the box that was perfect for Clark to attack. Herbing it would take two. Just aim towards the back post. Holland picks up the loose ball. Uh, crosses blocks and Joel clears it away. Nagano. Liverpool turning the screw tighter as they look for a second against the Lionesses. Little John's ball forward and the offside flag is up. Well, this is the chance from the corner. Fantastic delivery in, and it's off the bar from Clark, who managed to react very quickly to get a second bite at the cherry, but there were a lot of defenders in front of her, and the second effort was turned behind. Certainly has a height advantage, Jenna Clark, one of the all the players on the pitch just wasn't quite able to make it pay here she is in possession now Farhi to Grace Fisk Matthews Holland the ball just goes out of play Manchester City have joined Leicester and Tottenham in the quarterfinals. It's full time in their game against Arsenal. 
and Manchester City have beaten Arsenal by a goal to nil to progress. Sophie Roman Haug finds Lawley. Now Parry. Twisting and turning. Trying to lose her marker. Still, Parry goes on with the ball, but eventually she's crowded out. Poor clearance. Here's Lawley. Headed away by Culver. Shot from Holland is blocked. And Fitzgerald boots it away. Surely a second goal is forthcoming for Liverpool here. London City Lionesses yielding more and more territory as they defend deeper and deeper. And Candy forced to put it straight out of play. Parry's throw. Herbinger runs into McCandy who clears it away. Farhi. Now Fisk. Nagano. It's a clock. Harry to Clark again. Nice flick by Herbinger into the path of Parry, whose cross was blocked. Anywhere will do at the moment for London City. Fisk. Clark, who has tons of space to take the ball into. Lawley. Good run by Lawley. Cross just had too much on it. And a breather for London City Lionesses as the ball goes behind. Tell you, Manchester United have the lead against Southampton. That's a game you're able to watch on the FA player. Lawley. Being marked by Little John, but finds the pass to Parry. And it's Herbinger's ball in. Holland believes she should have won a corner, but a goal kick is given. Kick is taken short. Little John. Fitzgerald wins the throw and some respite finally for the Lionesses who have had their backs to the wall and have been defending for pretty much the whole of this first half. It's a poor pass given straight to Lawley. Joel recovers. The candy. Carter. That's better. Douglas. Better from the London City Lionesses. Fitzgerald. Crosses headed away by Clark. Schofield. Boya Lorca, Douglas, Clark again there for Liverpool. Here's Little John. Tackle goes in by Herbinger. Little John still battling and she wins a corner. Oh, goal kicks being given. That was more encouraging though for the London City Lionesses. We're able to commit some players forward and Jenna Clark made a couple of decent headed clearances.
for Heat. Played down the channel and Roman Haug gives chase and she's nicked it away here, Sophie Roman Haug. And Lawley was waiting at the edge of the box. Decision from Liverpool's goal scorer. Well, if London City Lionesses get to half time and it's only 1 0. I think Darren Smith will be fairly happy. Liverpool, of course, will be delighted they're in front, but they've had so much possession and have put so much pressure on their opponents. They've only managed to make it pay the once. Nagano. Finds Clark. Fisk. Wolves one, Brighton and Hove Albion one is it. Latest score. Wolves equalising in that fifth round tight. Fahey. Fisk. Holland plays it to Matthews. Now Fisk again. Holland. Players player of the year last season, Kerry Holland. William Lorca just managed to keep the ball in play. Now Douglas. A foot race down the right hand side between Fitzgerald and Matthews, who clears it away. And find out how much added time will be. Played at the end of this first half in just a moment. Lionesses looking to uh, fashion a shot on goal, maybe find a late equaliser. Fitzgerald's cross in, headed away by Farhi. Now Little John twisting and turning. His Carter might have been a foul in there, it wasn't given. Holland, just a minute to be played at the end of this first half that we're into, Herbinger, and the cross too close to Maloney who gathers and that should be about that for this first half here at Prince's Park. There is the half-time whistle. It's been a dominant first half by the Women's Super League side, Liverpool, who went in front early doors through Sophie Roman Haug. They hit the crossbar through Jenna Clark and had a number of other good attacking opportunities to double their advantage. I think London City Lionesses will be happy to get to the break with it just being one half time london city lionesses nil liverpool won and here are the highlights of the first 45 pretty much all of these will be liverpool attacks 
This was the goal. Sophie Roman Haug finding the net with her header. Really good ball in by Jasmine Matthews. This was a poor clearance that gave possession away. Lawley's cross in and Matthews hitting the side netting. Close to being two. The left hand side has been good for Liverpool in terms of them getting space and Sophie Raman Haag with a neat touch. Just any wide of the post. This time Liverpool down the right. Lawley's ball in. And Kerry Holland finding Maloney's gloves. This is the header that hit the crossbar and as it rebounded to Clark. There were just too many defenders around her. And yeah, all Liverpool in that first half. It's just the one goal though. Sophie Roman Haug's header in the sixth minute, the difference between the two sides. It means half time. It's London City Lionesses nil. Liverpool won. in behind and on the run here goes Garcia she manages to get the wrong side of the Newcastle defense but she can't pick out Paris here comes Toon lovely effort on goal and a fine strike from the England international it's taken a while but Manchester United do have the vital goal here and they lead against Newcastle and it's Ella Toon who is the one to provide it here what a wonderful goal One goal in it. Could be three more for Manchester City though. Could they have another hit? Pinged off and in. Manchester City double their lead. Jill Rod with the goal. Her first goal for Manchester City in the FA Cup. And it pings off the woodwork and in. Unfortunate for Durham. There was absolutely nothing that the Durham keeper could have done about that. City Lionesses are now racing away with this Adobe Women's FA Cup tie. 
They've seen some goals, but this is the pick of the bunch. Just beyond the reach of Rose Kite, the diving goalkeeper. That's it. The same possession there. Kelly chips the ball up. Laura Coombs finds the back of the net. McAloon was reaching for it. Her fourth goal of the season in all competition. Coming off the underside of the bar by the looks of things. And three time FA Cup winners have the early lead here at Maiden Castle. West Ham don't have a decent record against Chelsea. Saeed with the effort and with the opening goal against the run of play, West Ham take the lead. A hopeful ball over the top. She was in behind and a fine effort into the bottom corner. Well, she was in behind Buchanan, a decent first touch and an even better second touch. She knew exactly what she wanted to do across the face of goal. Musevic unable to keep the ball at bay. Opportunity here for us. No! It's three! And Arsenal are absolutely rampant. And Stina Blackstenius off the bench to score with her first touch. And that was the definition of a cool, calm finish. Boy, hello, Ka. That is an incisive pass. This could be the chance. Well, it's a cruel blow for Moneyfield. Right to the end of half time, just before the whistle. It's curled into the far corner by London City Lionesses. This was the ball. Boy Haloka fed it through. And Little John following up after Fitzgerald couldn't do too much with the pass. with the turn and the equaliser the substitute strikes and Chelsea are back in this cup contest it has been coming and with a little over 20 minutes to play Chelsea have an equaliser was headed back into the danger zone it was a decent turn a swivel and a fine finish from the official who grabs her second Chelsea goal. it over the keeper well she did a whole lot in that attack starting it 
picking up on Lauren Hemp's ball over the defenders and then doing the same to the Durham keeper. He just watched it loop over the top of it. Welcome back to Prince's Park, where I'm sure both managers showed a bit of frustration during their half-time team talks. Matt Beard, because his side are only 1-0 in front after dominating the first 45. Sophie Roman Haug getting the only goal of the game so far early on. And in the other changing room Darren Smith who has seen his team dominated 
in the first 45. The one positive for them is they only trail by a goal. Place in the quarterfinals of the Adobe Women's FA Cup up for grabs. It's going to be the leaders, Liverpool, to restart the game in the second half. Plus, Liverpool do have plenty of attacking talent on their bench if they need to call on the likes of Shanice van der Sanden. Is Fisk. They were good down both flanks in the first half, Liverpool, and the quality of delivery into the box was decent. But only Sophie Roman Haug was able to get a meaningful touch. Clock. Wally was unable to hold on to possession. She's battling to try and win it back. In the end, forces the hurried clearance. Liverpool are back in possession. And already, the second half looks as if it is going to follow a similar pattern to the first with the Reds retaining possession. Fahi. Clock. Being allowed to dribble the ball forward. Herbinger. Goes for the return pass, but there's just too much on it. And it's a goal kick. Maloney, who was the busier goalkeeper, Made a couple of decent saves in the first half. Back well by Farhi. Now into Roman Haug. Too many blue shirts around her and it's cleared away. This controls it for Liverpool. Matthews controls it with her chest and now finds Herbinger. Two defenders around her. She's done very well to retain possession, and she was fouled. <coughs> there, down the official. The free kick eventually came. <laughs> Liverpool have been dangerous with set pieces throughout the game so far. Jenna Clark hit the crossbar from a corner into the box in the first half. Good position this for the in-swinging delivery by Herbinger. And the keeper came, just did enough. Grace Maloney. He 
made the decision to come off her line, got something onto the ball. kick the London City Lioness as is caught to us fouled Leah Lorcan as well to hold off the tackle from Clark. And the cross was a poor one. Fisk able to bring the ball out from the back. Get up. Now for heat. Clock. Sends it long from deep, but it was far too close to Maloney. Her kick out just bounces over the head of Lois Joel. Joel, the London City Lionesses captain. In her second season at the club from West Ham. Came through the Arsenal Academy before going to play collegiate football in America. Fisk with the ball forward. Just bounced away from Matthews, but it is a Liverpool throw. Here's Fisk. Headed away by Culver. Douglas does well to get the ball under control. Fitzgerald in the pass central that straight to Clark, and Clark was. Fouled by Boya Lorca. Clark again with space to run into. Goes up the line. Here is Parry. Just uh, again. Putting a little bit too much on her through ball as she tried to pick out Herbinger. It's not been too much for those London City Lionesses fans to shout about so far. Pressure, but retains possession. Now Fisk. Of course, Liverpool quite happy just to take their time in possession. They do have the lead now. They feel a lot better about themselves if they're able to get the second. Here's Holland. Good turn. And she wins the corner. Culver able to block the cross. Might have taken on the shot a little bit earlier there Kerry Holland it was a lovely turn just delayed and then was forced wide so had to 
cross the ball in and allowed defenders to get around it. It's a good delivery into the back post and Clock headed it back into the danger area and Sophie Roman Haug unable to find the target. And they're not far away from First change of the afternoon for either side. Schofield. Pulver plays it forward. That's a good turn by Schofield. Joel. Fisk got a touch. Here's Fitzgerald. Lois Joel. Well, just wouldn't quite fall for Little John to get the strike away. And we are going to see the first changes of the afternoon, and they are for Liverpool. Daniels coming on to replace Jenna Clark, who's had a good game. Scotland International and Lucy Parry will be the other player withdrawn with Emma Coivisto the experienced Emma Coivisto on to replace her light for light changes in terms of positions Joel dispossessed Liverpool throw. Daniels with the throw down the line. Here is Lawley. Nagano. Her pass was a bit aimless and Linus is in possession. Joel. Looking for the run of Schofield, just too much on the through ball, and it's a Liverpool goal kick. But they're looking more of a threat in this uh, second half, the London City Lionesses, certainly in the last five minutes or so. Getting a bit more confidence going forward. And they are uh, going to have to take. More risk going forward, which could leave gaps for the Liverpool attackers to exploit as the game goes on. Ball given straight to Culver. One back though. Here's Yona Daniels. Joel with a touch. And yeah, there was a hand used there as it was bouncing and Sophie Roman Haug used her arm Culver takes the free kick short McCandy loose pass gives it straight to Daniels one back well though in the tackle by Carter but again, Liverpool able to win back possession quickly. Quivisto. Quivisto's cross. Rowan Howe heads it down. Just tried to cushion it into the path of Melissa Lawley. Just 
just wasn't quite able to do so and Maloney picked it up and will have a stoppage in play because the trainer is on to administer some treatment well it's certainly been a little bit better from the London City Lionesses in the last 10 minutes or so Still, Rachel Laws yet to make a meaningful save the Liverpool goalkeeper, though. But 1-0 is a dangerous scoreline for Liverpool. This game needs to be uh, finished today. If it does finish level, then we will play extra time and then penalties. Little John able to uh, walk off. Whether she'll be able to continue, I'm not sure. The way she's moving, I think that will be the uh, end of the afternoon for Rusha Little John. see a substitution come on the London City Lionesses in just a moment well, the change will happen momentarily because the player wasn't ready nothing more frustrating for fans than Managers, when the substitutes aren't ready to come on. It's Rayleigh Groves, the player who will come on in just a moment. That substitution can be made by the London City Lionesses and Liverpool are also going to uh, make a change as well. Lungard, stripped and ready to come on. And Sophie Lungard replaces Kerry Holland who is uh, withdrawn for Liverpool Fitzgerald with the throw Lungard straight into the action Able to clear it away, it was well chased down by Lawley, the clearance, and it's a throw. He's ball forward, straight to a blue shirt. Joel. Nicely done by Gross in midfield. Schofield shouts and the throw is given her way. Carter. 
Nagano making the tackle, but it's another throw. Brighton in the end getting fast walls to go through to the quarterfinals. 4-1 in the end. The women's Super League side advancing through. Laws off her line quickly to gather the loose ball. So Manchester City, Brighton, Leicester and Tottenham. The four clubs through to the last eight so far. Liverpool as it stands on course to join them. But London City Lionesses putting a fight up in this second half. Fitzgerald with the throw into Joel. He holds off the challenge from Daniels. Culver gives it back to her goalkeeper, Maloney. It's a risky pass out, but well, in fact, Liverpool have won possession here with uh, Lundgaard. Won back well by London City. Here's Schofield. Now McCandy. Ball into the channel, cut out by Fisk. Matthews. They have changed their shape, Liverpool now. Matthews has moved into the defence. It's flicked on his Lawley! Great finish, and Liverpool finally double their lead. Melissa Lawley firing in off the underside of the crossbar. And after all of their possession and all of their attacking play, Liverpool now have a cushion. Excellent finish by Melissa Lawley. And that could prove to be a killer blow for the London City Lionesses who have been more confident in going forward in this second half, but they were caught with a, a long ball. It was well flicked on by Sophie Roman Haug. And the finish was very decent from Lawley to get her second goal of the campaign. She wants more success in the FA Cup. Former winner with Manchester City on two occasions, Melissa Lawley. Lawley again. This time stings the hand to Grace Maloney. Teed up by Lungard and wasn't a bad strike. Daniels wins possession back for Liverpool. Nagina. Quibisto to Lawley, nice skill from her. Lawley's cross, headed back across goal by Daniels and London City able to clear. Boren turns back to Culver and now here's Maloney. intercepts the ball down the line might fall here for Lawley who used her hand to bring the ball under control more changes for Liverpool Enderby 
and Keenan. So Lawley, after scoring, is off him. Liam Kernan is uh, on as well to replace Sophie Roman Haug. So both goal scorers off for Liverpool. a lot more comfortable about things now his team have that sec second goal Lungard dropping deep to pick up possession. Clevisto. Matthews. Daniels. Finds the run of the 18 year old Enderby. Only in her second season with Liverpool, having joined from Sheffield United, Mia Enderby. Her appearances have been rather limited, so she'll be delighted to get a run here. Carter. William Lorca. Dangerous ball. It nearly dropped for Joel. Who does pick it up? Schofield. Joel. Cross was blocked well by the slide of Daniels. But they do get a goal back, London City Lionesses. It would certainly make it interesting. Not really showing any signs of getting that goal, but a set piece is a great opportunity. We've not had many set pieces in the match to trouble the Liverpool defenders. Emma McCandy to deliver this one. Wasn't a bad delivery. It was a good header at the near post by Cuivisto. Take two from the candy. It's a dangerous one that bounces all the way across the penalty area. And Lundgaard is able to clear for Liverpool. Gerald presses on, being led by Lundgaard. Maloney short of options, so chips it forward. It was well controlled initially by Douglas, but it's picked up by Liverpool here. Lundgaard. Now Daniels. 
Fitzgerald watched the ball well to make the challenge. Matthews heads it forward. And eventually, free kick is given the way of Liverpool because Daniels was upended. The uh, referee was just waiting to see if there was going to be a Liverpool advantage. There wasn't. Despite the protest from the interim man in charge of the London City Lionesses, Darren Smith. Herbinger, whose delivery has been pretty much on the money this afternoon, with another chance to trouble the defence of the Lionesses. This time it's straight onto the head of McCandy. Carter's lost it. Unpacked well by Farhi. Herbinger. Farhi. Herbinger again. Nicely worked by Liverpool. McCandy makes the challenge. Herbinger. Farhi. Free kick as Fitzgerald was fouled. Pressing, Daniels wins it back. That'll be a Liverpool throw. It went out of play off of Lois Joel. Daniels throw. Then it went down. Nothing given. End of beat. Keenan hustling the defender. Another change going to be made by London City Lionesses shortly. Muddy Wild coming on. The Loney from Bristol City. Southampton have equalised at home to Manchester United. 1-1 in that game. Chelsea, the holders, drawing 0-0 with Crystal Palace at home. A couple of potential upsets there. Doesn't look as if there'll be an upset here. Liverpool leading 2-0 and looking very comfortable at the moment. Quivisto. Great ball forward by the goalkeeper to pick out Herbinger, who does well to get onto it. Couldn't quite find Daniels, but. The pressing for Liverpool means that the Lionesses will uh, be penned in. And Nicole Douglas coming off. Maddie Wild on to replace. Uh, could be a FA Cup debut to forget for Nicole Douglas, who. Uh, As a forward, hasn't seen an awful lot of the ball for London City this afternoon. Again, Liverpool so good at the press and they end up winning the throw.
Kernan. Fisk. Fahey. Fisk. Magano. Good ball into the channel. Lungard. Here's Lungard again. Pubista, Lungard. Herbinger's effort was blocked. Struggling to clear their lines here. The Lioness has caught it. Tried to turn at the edge of her own box. And Daniels with the effort. Maloney right behind it. Candy. Still playing with great intensity, Liverpool, which will please Matt Beard. They're desperate for an FA Cup run. Kernan. Loses possession. The candy. Culver. Caught it. Asking a lot of Fitzgerald, who was unable to keep it in play. Beard still shouting orders from the sideline. His side closing in on a place in the quarterfinals of the Adobe Women's FA Cup. Daniels. Kearney. Finds Fisk. Fubisto. Being forced back towards her own goal. And Fisk will play it. So Rachel Laws. Magano. It's been an honest performance from London City Lionesses. It's been a lot of effort, but Liverpool, who uh, of course were the favorites coming into the game, have made their quality show, despite uh, the experience that is in this London City Lionesses side particularly the ability to bring internationals off the bench for Liverpool in this second half. It's been a big difference between the two sides. And it's a result really that's never been in doubt. As soon as Sophie Roman Haug put Liverpool in front after six minutes, here is Kernan. Oh, just wide from Enderby. Kernan did well. And she was played in. Had the run on McCandy. It was a good ball in to find Enderby. Who couldn't keep her first time effort down and on target. scored one goal in Liverpool colours Mia Enderby that was against Manchester City in the Continental Cup in a 4-3 thriller that Manchester City won earlier in the campaign another change 
to the London City page. Satchel, who has been out with injury. Makes a return. Replacing Connie Schofield. The New Zealand international on for the closing minutes of this game. And some treatment needed. Herbinger. Well, the draw for the course finals is tomorrow. You will be able to keep across it with the FA player. Manchester United have gone back in front against Southampton. They lead 2-1. They kicked off the same time as this match. In fact, Manchester United are 3-1 up against Southampton. So Manchester United look as if they're heading into the quarterfinal draw, along with Liverpool. Still 0-0 in Chelsea's game with Crystal Palace. In fact, Chelsea have just uh, got in front in that game. So it looks as if all of the women's Super League sides are going to progress. Which means we're in for an enthralling and intriguing quarter-final draw. Surely Liverpool are going to be in the hat. It would take something remarkable from the London City Lionesses to stop that from happening in the next few minutes. Lungard. As a risky pass, but Matthews was alert and able to bring the ball under control. Laws, who don't think has made a save, I think all her touches have either been with her feet or picking up through balls like that one. Heading for a third clean sheet this season, Rachel Laws, as it stands. Daniel's not able to control the kick. Haven't had a shot on target, London City Lionesses. Liverpool have tested Maloney on, uh, well, she's made seven saves. The other two on target have ended up in goals. Here's Carter trying to make something happen. Can anyone produce a bit of? Individual brilliance for London City Lionesses to make the final few minutes of this match interesting. Daniels will take the throw. A real rush for Liverpool to get the ball back in play. We're into the final minute. Here is Daniels. 
Need for heat. Fisk. Lungard dropping deep. London City looking to press the Liverpool defenders into making a mistake in possession, but they've got too much quality and they play their way out from the back. And as the ball was aimed towards Enderby, she just wasn't able to bring it under control, but it's nicked back by Nagano. And it just wouldn't fall for Kernan. Culver hoofs it clear. Daniels. Five minutes of added time to be played at the end of this match. Five minutes for Liverpool to see out. Five minutes for the London Lionesses to find a bit of magic. Nagano. Session given away cheaply. For your Lorca. Sends it long. Clipped on by Wild, but no one beyond her. This uh, is a risky uh, turn by. Nagano, who had it pinched from her, and that was the opening. Just turn into danger, and Maddy Wild had the opportunity to test Rachel Laws, but she failed to hit the target. Oh, they've been waiting for a chance like that, the London City Lionesses all game. Wild off the substitute's bench. Unable to produce a moment of brilliance. Here's Matthews. He's had a really good game. Former FA Cup runner-up with Bristol, the 30-year-old. That was all the way back in 2013. Looking for a similar run here with Liverpool this season. Carter. It's a great ball to find Wild. It's a good header inside and Joel running onto it. Forces a good bit of defending. Liverpool having to backtrack in numbers. Boya Lorca. Anywhere will do for Farhi, who just clears it away. Throwing everything at Liverpool, London City. They try and get a consolation goal here. Surely it would only be a consolation goal. Five minutes about a time. We played three of those minutes. McCandy will try and put a quality delivery into the box. Doesn't beat the front post. He'll get a second bite of it. McCandy's cross. It was half cleared by Fisk. Here's Joel. No ball in. Handed well by Farhi. Well, they certainly puffed and puffed in the second half London City Lionesses but they haven't been able to blow the Liverpool house down 
defense has been solid. The opportunities that have fallen the way of London City Lionesses, they haven't managed to hit the target. Kernan is dispossessed. Fisk coolly guides it back to Laws, who hoofs it forward. Kernan knocks it down, and again it goes back to the Liverpool goalkeeper. This is Herbinger. Chance here for Enderby. Oh. Really should have done a little bit better here, Mia Enderby. First touch wasn't good enough. And, uh, she was forced wide. I think it should have been a corner. It is a corner. Schofield awarded the home player of the match for London City Lionesses. Liverpool with their last opportunity here at the end of this game to add a third from this corner. Herbinger's delivery. Kernan heads it back into the box. And it's poked goalwards by Fisk and somehow London City scramble it off the line. And there is the full-time whistle. Matt Beard says this is the greatest competition in the world while his team advanced through to the quarterfinals of the Adobe Women's FA Cup with ease. Sophie Roman Howe's goal on six minutes set them up. They were frustrated for a while, but Melissa Lawley's second on 67 minutes ensuring that they have their place in the draw for the last day tomorrow disappointment for the london city lionesses another championship side fall to a women's super league side full time it finishes london city lionesses nil liverpool two Let's take a look at the story of the game then. Liverpool going in front. Early doors. Sophie Roman Haug watching the ball. And it was a good header past Grace Maloney. Really good ball into the box from Jasmine Matthews as well. Again, Matthews with the delivery and Roman Haug. Nearly adding a second with that touch, so close to any up in the bottom corner. This was a header off the crossbar from Clark, and as it dropped to her, there were just too many bodies in front of her. The second added by Melissa Lawley, a fantastic finish as the ball was flicked on into her path. This the best opportunity of the game for London City. Maddie Wild nicking the ball off Nagano, but floating it over the crossbar. And then right at the end, Fisk forcing a save, and there was a block on the line as well. London City Lionesses able to clear with the score. Finishing 2-0 and Matt Beard giving some congratulatory words to his team. I think they know that really it should have been a little more comfortable than it was. But it's all about the results and all about going through. And that is what Liverpool have done. Goals from Sophie Roman Haug and Melissa Lawley ensuring that they're in the draw tomorrow. Full time here at the Prince's Park Stadium. Liverpool progress. London City Lionesses nil. Liverpool two. <laughs>